Okay, the same ongoing scenario every year. One day my wife came to me and said, Do you have presents? It's already November. And I was like, no way, it was June just yesterday. Check the phone, check the phone again because I forgot why I'm checking my phone. Holy crap, she's right. But I've got an idea. I wanna be artist, right? I need to learn, improvise, barely chasing deadlines and feed my introvertism by sitting at home for hours. I'm gonna make the gifts. Ladies, gentlemen, binary penguins, 200 swords and everyone else. I'm Al, I'm a wannabe artist and this is my journey to create gifts for my family. How? First, I need to introduce you my family. But... We value our privacy. So I have to change their names. First is my wife's sister. Let's call her Susan. She is a little evil tiny demon. My wife's mini me. Always last word like to refer you. Complaining on her bad knees. Very often to say this. Eating everything with cheese. Like this is. She often drives me crazy. Especially when she's lazy. Don't be fooled, I like her. Even when she strikes her. Beating like the tiger. You know, almost like a viper. I love it. Girls are fighter. And off. I hope this little minion won't be mad at me. <laughs> love you too, sister. For a few years, we are giving each other unicorn team gifts. It's our thing. So this one is pretty easy. Let's make it fire. So I made a sketch of a rearing horse. I used some reference photos of horses and simply added a horn. Still learning to paint on graphic tablet and my lines don't look clear, so I use a pen tool to make a clear lines. Then add some base color, some flat colors and shading. Now let's look how I did the flames. Oh, I forgot to mention it will be the fire unicorn. You will need three colors, faded yellow as a primary color, bright yellow for the spots where the fire came out and dark red for the end of the flames. Use a soft brush with a low opacity and mix those colors together. You will need to repaint brighter colors with the faded one to blend them. Now use an eraser with opacity about 40% and start to shape the fire. As you can see, you are able to give your fire depth with this technique. Just add the burnt area and you are done. Almost a realistic flame. Now let's make with this technique mane, tail, hooves, nostrils, eyes and horn for our unicorn. Uh oh, I made a huge mistake. As you can see the tail is cropped. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a frames collection 2023. Next is Susan's boyfriend and also my best friend. We are long term friends since high school. We have birthdays 3 days apart, we live in the same street and yes, we are dating sisters. Rodrigo is the type of friend when you call him at night, his only response is where and should I bring a shower? Last 2 years we are giving each other T-Rex team gifts. I can't tell you why, because it's a really, a really dark joke. That day we got a message from Satan by himself. So for Alfredo it's T-Rex. Again, reference photos are essential for learning to draw and paint. I found another technique to draw lines called pulled string. Base and flat colors hand painting every scale on T-Rex face, add some details, the same for the body and of course the frame. Voila, another one is done. Now my father-in-law, he is an honest man of great values, really handy and I can say we have a great relationship. 
We are constantly making jokes of each other and that's my secret weapon in this moment. A few years ago I made the joke that he looks like a Kung Fu Panda. Made him poster for his birthday, shots were fired. Since then this joke has been running around the whole family. Every damn year for his birthday and for Christmas he is getting at least one panda gift. And who am I to broke the rules? Also, we live in the Czech Republic and this country is well known for beer consumption. And holy moly, he loves that golden drink. Take one more, panda man. Oh, and I'm a World of Warcraft player, so I found great inspiration. This time I tried to do it lineless. Paint the panda black features. Then I found this tutorial on Station. A great purchase, definitely go check it. So I learned from the tutorial, you have to start with the darkest layers of fur and gradually add lighter and lighter layers. Also, you need to have in mind the direction of fur. My experiment looks like this. And I like it. Just give him some clothes and details. Now the theory of painting glass. Most tutorials are the same. Take a background color, soft brush and slightly paint like this. But using this technique we have one problem. It's not see-through glass. Of course, you can paint in it. But it's not optimal for more complicated backgrounds. So, what if we kinda reverse the process and instead of adding more colors, we would be taking away color. Make a layer mask for your object and paint in the mask with the black color. Now we are talking. Just use it on the beer glass. And frame and done. If you wanna know why I did all this and where I'm gonna use those paintings, you will have to wait for part 2. I will show you what I've done for the rest of my family and how it turned out. Also, if you have any tips and tricks how to improve my voice records, feel free to share them in the comments. My microphone is this one. So, which of these paintings is your favorite? Were my short tutorials any helpful? Thank you for watching and see you at the part 2.